The Secrets of Goal Setting in Nichiren Buddhism Number 1. Challenge Yourself Number 2. Set a drop-dead date for your goal In a meeting where members were discussing about goals, a member from Kansai Japan spoke up. We don't set goals like this in Kansai. The group turned to look at him. They knew that Kansai was a province in Japan where there had been an enormous success with an impossible goal. The Kansai member continued, the way to set goals is to make them very specific and have a drop-dead date, by which you will have achieved your goal. One person commented, the idea of setting a drop-dead date scares me to death. I'm afraid of failing, isn't that's why many of us don't set a date for completion? Secretly, we don't really believe it can be done. If that's the case, it's important to examine our thinking. Everything we chronically think and feel is projected to the universe. If we are telling the universe our goal can't be done, what do you think is going to be reflected back to us? When we envision a goal while chanting it is like creating a drawing on invisible planes when we chant for a goal. So ask yourself, what am I creating in my architectural drawing, what I want or what I don't want? Am I erasing the drawing by doubting it can be done? Number 3. Chant for exactly what you want. Our words and thoughts are creating the channels in our subconscious mind through which the creative energy of the universe will work. This means we want to formulate our goals carefully. Often we set a goal focused on what we want to get rid of, not what we want. For example, I want to lose 40 pounds. This focuses the mind on what we don't want, the 40 pounds. If we chant for this goal we may find nothing much changes. To create a goal that will lead to what we want, we should say, I want to weigh 130 pounds, my ideal weight. Let's look at some others. An anxious, fearful person might say, I want to live a relaxed, serene life. A person who is struggling with finances could chant, I want a stable income of name the amount by such and such a date. Make sure you are chanting for what you want, and not what someone else wants for you. Set specific goals. Ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu quote on old paper. At the center of your being you have the answer, you know who you are and you know what you want. You can be very specific when setting goals. If you find yourself resisting being specific, I might ask you, do you know where you want to go or what you want? If the answer is no, you could chant for your best direction or clarity. Number 4. Chant with the end in mind. Seeing the end is already done is the challenge of chanting for a goal. You don't yet see it in the material world. It's important to remember that, when you chant, you have already planted the seed for its appearance in everyday life. Number 5. How do you feel while chanting? Since we are projecting where we are to the universe, we also have to examine how we are feeling. Do you have deep determination, or are you feeling desperate? Are you feeling anxious and needy, or confident? When you envision your goal is already accomplished, how do you feel? Describe your goal exactly as you wish it. Remember the drawing and enhance it, with details until you feel happy, pleased and relieved, excited etc. That it is done. Let's take an example, of a house remodel to show how this works. Envision your house as completed just the way you want it, see friends coming to visit, and the feeling of pride and happiness you experience now that it's successfully completed. Number 6. What if I don't hit my drop dead date? Set another one but don't stop moving forward. Never give up. Instead, celebrate whatever progress you have made. Summary. Set a specific goal formulate a positive goal and chant towards it. Set a drop dead date by which it will be accomplished. Envision how you will feel when it is accomplished, chant with end in mind. Celebrate any progress towards your goal, share your experience. Thank you.